Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Doors Paradox. This is another like puzzly sort of cool game. I have no idea what it's about actually. So let's just get into it and see what happens. So this is a door and it's it's sort of all puzzly. So we've got a we've got a flower we can click on. We can rotate the pot. And look, we found an object around the back. So let's take that. It's a hook. We can zoom back out and then just have a little. <laughs> That is Paddy barking, interrupting the recording. Cheers, dog. Anyway, down here is my favorite part of a door, the knob. So we'll take that. Then I guess we want to put the doorknob into the doorknob hole. So now we've been left to try and find some stuff ourselves. What's going on with that pot? That pot is glowing. So that is... Oh, a gem. Is there a key there? Is that where the doorknob goes? Can I like... No, I can't place the doorknob on it. Oh, hello, hello. What is this? What is that? So I'm moving that slightly. Anyway, around the front, we can pull this rope, which... Oh, it knocked, the bell knocked the pot off. And then if we zoom into that and move that out of the way, we found the key. Uh, we can also have a little look in here. What is, what is in there? Oh, we've got a clover and a scroll. Dear me, you've been in a bad accident. Please follow me. Am I a cat? Anyway, let's zoom in. I'm guessing, yeah, that is where the clover goes. So plonk that in there and then that spins. That's got to be, that's got to be the hole for the door handle, right? So doorknob goes in there and then do we hook those together yes we gotta find another hook though so if i was a hook where would i be i don't know perhaps in this keyhole because we can shove a key in there we can give that a spin and then oh that burst off and now i can now i can open this Ooh, look, there's loads of good stuff so we've got the hook that we need we've also got another another gem and then what is i don't know what that is in the middle but still back to the front Let's shove the hook onto that and then give that a twist. Oh, and that's, that's unlocked it. What have we got? What have we got? Ooh, what have we got? Click the door to open it. Okay. Oh, it's today's sponsor. Yahaha! The brand new user-generated content creation platform where you can create and publish your own 3D multiplayer games. There's no coding or anything like that. It's very simple to use. Even an architect could do it. And all the games you're seeing on screen right now were all made through Yahaha. You simply grab the components and smart assets that they provide, place them exactly where you want, and create your dream game. There's millions of ready-to-use 3D assets in the asset library. Look, there's even bridges! All of which which are stored in the cloud drive and stream to creators when they need to use them. Yahaha also supports multiplayer, so once you publish your game, you can invite your friends to play as well. Like that time I made my editors dodge deadly lasers to see who is the best editor. You can also meet new friends in countless immersive 3D spaces that are available as well. So boost the link down in my description to download Yaha Studio and join their early access now for free. Anyway, let's see what was really behind that door. Oh my goodness, it's like a time portal. Okay, that was weird. So right now we have the next door. Oh my goodness, this one looks sort of complicated. So we've got like, oh, is it like, it's like water themed. Yeah, look on the back. Can we, can we just twist that to block the, the water leaking? Yes, we can. And then the water's draining out the bottom because there's no water coming in the top. That was cool. That was very cool. Right, so down here then, if we get rid of that, we can open these gates. And then we have a key. We have a gem. And we also have this switch. Which, oh my goodness, what did I do? What did I do? I hear alarms. Oh, open this side. Oh, and that side. They look like the strongest shaped sides. So in this shaft, is that, that's like a screwdriver. And that's a keyhole with green. Oh, our key has green on it. So green key, that can go in there. Give that a twist. Open that. And we have a screwdriver. Oh, this is going rather well, I think. What do we need a screwdriver for? Don't know for now. We need a blue key to get into that. Now, what about this diver's helmet? We have, oh, there's the key. I've just got the blue key. We've got a scroll down there as well. The boating incident was a brief wake up call. Okay, cat. Yeah, it's a blue key. That goes over here, doesn't it? The other shaft. So we'll grab blue key, shove it in there, give it a twist, open that. We've got another gem and a wrench. So if we zoom into that, does that look like, does that look screwdriver-ish? I think it does. Yeah, it does. We'll give that a twist and then we're opening this glass hatch and then, oh, what is that? So we've got a sort of a bottom bit of a star. Do we need to turn them all on or are we trying to repeat that somewhere? I don't know. We've also got like a periscope thing here. What does that do if we, I can see the screen sort of moving. I don't know. Am I meant to be trying to find something? All right, not gonna lie. Not sure what I'm meant to be looking for in there. We'll come back to that one. Oh, look, there's that pattern. So, oh, I can, I can turn them on. Okay, so I think, was it something like, was it that or was it all of those? I think it was that. Yeah, there you go. So, that is now opening. Oh, just one lock. Okay, so we've got two more locks to to get this thing open. Um, can we wrench that open on this helmet? Let's give that a go. Yes, we can. So, give that a twist. Whoa, wrench NATO. <laughs> 
<laughs> Red Schnado t-shirt. Not coming soon. Uh, let's open this. And what is inside? We've got a cloth piece. And, oh, can we use that to clean this? Yes, give that a clean. And then we can see what we're doing in here. Look, can we? I feel like it's too bubbly to see what's going on. Is there a way to turn the bubbles off, maybe? Oh, look, on the back. This... Oh, is this... Oh, look. I think this periscope we sort of look around can you see i think it goes like along there and that's the periscope oh we've got this puzzle as well what what even is that i don't understand what that one is we've also got this over here as well not sure what this does yet either um, but it is connected to the bubbles so maybe that's how i turn the bubbles off <laughs> <laughs> look what I've made there. Look what I've made. Does anyone else see that? Or is that just me? Am I just being I'm just being rude again? Um, so what are we trying to cheat? Oh, look, as I spin it. Oh, they come up. Oh, is that all I'm meant to do? Just do that. Oh, well done, Matt. Well done. Right, so we've got another one of these. So we've got a triangle and then a little triangle upside down. So back down here, we will turn everything off. So we've got the triangle underneath. We've got the triangle up there. And then that releases that hook. So we've just got one more to go, which has got to be something to do with this. Oh, oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Oh, I see the full power or no power. Okay, so that one, that's a four. And then if I transfer that over to there, that's a four. Okay, and then we've stopped the bubbles, which means we can go to the periscope and then we can see... See, aha, we've got to make that shape. It's an upside down triangle with those bits colored in. So upside down triangle with those bits colored in. And there's the final lock. Then if we just give this a little twist, then hopefully something good will happen. Oh, the door's open. So we open the door and then there's the cat again. And there's another door over that way, which is the next puzzle, I'm guessing. Awesome. So here is the next door. Oh, it's like oriental themed. So what do we have on this? We've got that. Is this one? of these slidey oh it's one of those sliding things i'm terrible at those puzzles so i'm gonna guess we have to solve that at some point i can see down here we've got a gem i think the gems they're just like hidden collectibles you got to get every single round oh i can fill this up let's give that a pump i feel like my beavers and timberborn pumping my wood oh look that's that's given us a piece another tile of the puzzle okay uh, meanwhile you can see the water it's coming down there and then just flowing out the sides so that's fine it's not gonna change anything we've got like two weighted things so we probably need two things of similar weights in order to open. Actually, I wonder, can I just put a tile on there? No, I can't. Now up the top, we have this. Is that a lock I can undo? It is. So get rid of those. And then that is a flap. We got the other gem and we've got a weight. Ah, oh, nice. We need a weight. Knowledge and wisdom filled your soul. Yes, Mr. Cat. Cat's a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway, so down here, I'm guessing we put a weight on. So there's the weight that is lifting up this side. Oh, look. So now we've got like a little log on a rope, which I've just taken. Oh, it's a hammer. <laughs> a log on a rope. <laughs> now, can I take this weight back? Oh, I can take the weight back. Okay, so then we just shove the weight on the other one. So that is raising this up. And then what is that? Oh, I think it's a bell. So if we put the hammer on there, we can pull that back and boosh. <laughs> and then the bell is, oh, it's making the tree grow. What is going on here? So decent, we'll head down to the tree because look, we've got a little key ring thing, a medallion. Yeah, and I feel like I saw a hook somewhere. <gasps> there it is down there. Okay, so swap, swap the weights again. It appears I cannot swap the weights. It won't let me click on that anymore. I wonder, can I just, can I just hook it from here? Right, ready, hook. No, it won't let me. It won't let me. Perhaps I need to find another weight first. Let's see. Can we actually solve this? Do we know what it's meant to look like? I assume that the, the black edges, they're like borders, aren't they? So if we do a bit of bit of this, bit of that. Oh, the bottom's actually looking pretty decent, to be fair. Got to try and get this corner piece down to there, but this one up to the top. So I can do a bit of that, a little bit of this. And then if we do that, I think we're pretty good. That looks pretty pretty right does it i'm not convinced those two are the right way around oh no okay I, I see what i've got to do now i see what i've got to do so we'll just do that 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 and that and then that's pretty much there if i just add the extra piece of tile into there then we've solved it nice oh and that's where the medallion goes okay so medallion ego in there yeah i'm guessing the other hook was just where i found the hammer right so we've got this we can remove that log and we've solved the puzzle and there's the cat again hello mate all right on to the next one so oh look at this one look at this we got like shiny letters on top and we got colors everywhere so first off we'll grab that crystal oh there's diamonds and the gem uh what else do we have we got flaming torch on the side We've got, oh, like a dressing table on the back. One of those perfume defense. 
I'll tell you what, that reminds me. I think we need a story time with Matt. So basically, I've got like man spray. And like when I first got it, it came with like a squeezy bottle. It's like a normal glass bottle. And then the top, you just like press it down and it sprays you. Nice. Jobs are good on. Uh, then I brought a refill like a year later when I ran out. Um, and the, the refill bottle didn't come with like a squirty lid thing. And I couldn't use the other one because if I tried to like take the lid, like it's not, it's not replaceable. You can't refill it. So I ordered one of these. So I've got like a glass round bottle with like one of those squeezy balls at the end. I feel like a proper woman, like a posh woman, like put my perfume on. Uh, yeah, just thought you guys should know that. Story time with Matt. Um, anyway, right, we'll take that. There's a gem behind it. Nice. Um, oh, look down here, down here. That's another diamond. So if we spin those round, I think the diamonds go in the chair, right? So... Yeah, back of there, that's another diamond. Ooh, the chair goes up. That is a good bit of engineering, that. We found a wheel. Also down there, we found another scroll. Drowning complacent. You forgot about your inner child. Yeah, never do that. Easily done as an engineer. That's why I do knob jokes all the time. Anyway, we zoom. Oh, speaking of knob jokes, check out the dressing room table. That is a very, very efficient looking dressing table. Oh, look, there's, there's a mirror. What do we do with the mirror? We spray it with perfume. Oh, we actually do. One, two, three, four. But swap the three and the one and the four and the three. So it goes three, four, one, two. Okay, three, four, one, two. Someone remember that. Anyway, back around the front, we've got this thing. Can I use my wheel here? No, it doesn't appear to let me. What else we got? We got like a fire thing. Oh, we got this. Oh, look. B1. Oh, I can pull the flags down. V2. Oh, so the numbered code might actually be letters. So A4. So what was it? 3, 4. So that would be Z, Z, A, and then 1, 2. So B, V. Z, A, B, V. Zab. <laughs> Is that a clue? Oh, oh onto the roof. We, we found this earlier, Matt. So Zab, we need Z. If I shove the wheel on top, here we go. Oh, oh, what is that doing? It like it put like a wick over that. Oh, it's exploded. Oh, and now we've got buttons. That was quite cool, that. So up here, we need to we need to do Zabov. So Z, A, B, V. I don't know. I don't know why I did the sounds and not the actual letters there. <laughs> inner child. It's my inner child speaking. Right, and then we've unlocked this. And what is that? That's like a, it's an element. Not how I would have described it. But I'm guessing the element goes down here. Boosh. Oh, is this just a swappy, put everything in the right color sort of thing? So if I do that and that, I can put green in into that one. I can then take the thing out of there, put pink in it. Do a bit of that. Do a bit of that. And then that and that. And then they're all in the right colors, which means the door's unlocked. Oh, that was really fun. I actually, I really enjoyed that. I'm loving this game. I feel like it's puzzles, but sort of slightly on the easy side. I like guess it's, it's nice to chill. Like, just take some satisfaction in solving. I feel like too many times puzzles are like, they're like way too hard. You have no idea what you're meant to do. This is, this is quite cool. There's also, there's a hint button as well. Um, I haven't actually had to use that, but uh, good to know it's there in case you get stuck. Right, what is going on? There's, we got spikes at the bottom. Them. We gotta be careful. Uh, we've got a clock face with no hands. So we're we're after some hands somewhere. We've got a chest down there with a key padlock thing. On the side, we're missing an hourglass. Same on that side as well. Okay. Um, oh look, we got like a we got like a an upright base, a cello. And that looks like a key behind it, doesn't it? No, oh down here we've got we got a gem. Better take the gem. We've got scissors, and we've also got the hourglass. Um, oh no, is it gonna is it gonna want me to cut the strings to get to that? All right, Davey504, if you're watching, I'm sure you are. Uh, please don't hurt me for this. I'm cutting bass strings. Oh. Anyway, there is the key. So we can grab... It looks like a radiator key, that. Oh, there's also... There's doors up the top. Let's open them. There's the other hourglass and the other gem. All right, so hourglass in that side. There we go. Hourglass in the other side. There we go. And then we can flip that. And then... What is that doing? Oh, we got, we got like a weird button combination at the bottom. Oh, man. Okay, so we need to solve that in the time. So flip it over. And then there's probably a clever way of doing this. I'm just going to try and brute force it. Like, surely I'll get it right. There we go. Brute force for the win. Right, so we've we've got a we've got a clock there. So I'm guessing that's the that's the hour hand. So if we go to the other side over here, this will probably give us the minute hand. All right, there we go. That's that one undone. So the minute hand is down there. We know where the area hand is. We just don't know where the actual hands are. Presumably one is in this chest because we do have the key, remember? So let's open that up and see what is inside. So wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, we got both. Decent. Okay. So our hand is over there. Minute hand is there. So it's like it's like 27 past nine. So if we grab that, 
grab that and then we just move this. So 27 is about there. 9 is about there. There we go. And that is unlocked. And what is that doing? That has stopped the spikes coming up. Um, and now we can spin that to lower the drawbridge. Now, does that deserve a bridge review? It's a drawbridge that I can no longer raise up. Made out of four planks with eight rivets in total. It will surely protect you from the dangerous spikes beneath. Overall, I give this bridge a 3.8 out of 10. It's a one-use bridge sort of bridge review. Uh, right, so we go into here and then do we just, can we just lift that up? Yes, we can. Get rid of that. Open up the door handles and there is the door opening. The cat is still inside and we're on to the next puzzle. Oh, this one sounds very underwater. So it's an underwater door. Oh man, look at that. Look at up top. That's so cool. It's like, it's like an octopus attacking a ship. Again, seeing a lot of strong shapes on this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, first off, I see a gem on the side, so we may as well grab that. Does this rope do anything? Oh, it does. We, we've literally just gained some rope. Decent. Down here, there is a barrel. We'll open that. And we've got some arrows. We've also got a wooden element as well. Now on this side, we've got ooh, another wooden element and a scroll that says, now it's time for you to explore this world deep into the future where all humans are gone. Only cats remain. Is this what it says? Is this like a test to see if I'm worthy to like live with a cat or something? All right, so on the back, I'm guessing I need like a shell or something to go in there. So we're probably done on the back. It's just the front. We've got a barrel. Can I get rid of the barrel? Yeah, I can move out the way. Lift this up. Ah, oh, we got a broken rope. So can I put my new rope in here? I can. I've replaced the rope. I can then give that a spin to lower that bit of wood. And then in here, I can then turn this. Oh, what's in the back? Is this where my arrows go? So the arrows are loaded. And then what is this? Does an element go in there somehow? Or has that changed the up the top? No. Oh, what's this though? What is this? We can twist those. Oh, look, water down the side. Spinning that. Oh, that spun the globe. Okay, so let's do the other side. So fishtail, give that a spin. Water comes out, spins the water wheel, flips the remaining globe, and then we've got some shapes. Uh, those shapes are on my wooden element. So you go on that side, you go on that side. Okay, so I can use that to rotate those. Do I want to pop this? Oh! <laughs> I kill oh I killed the squid. I saved the ship. Whoa, that was cool. Okay, so now up the top we've got we've got the ship and we can zoom in. Oh, look at this. So it looks like we've got a little puzzle where we can control this thing. So if we go up, we go to there. And then if we go up again, I think we're behind it. So it's just like a matter of very, very simple memory to work out where you are. So just go along there and then all the way up. I wonder, do you reckon there was a gem behind there? Oh no, there's a gem. There's the gem. So grab the gem. Oh, thank you. And then grab the shell, head to the back of it, shove the shell in there. That unlocks the door. I'm loving all these lock mechanics, by the way. Really, really cool. Um, and then we're on to the next level. That was cool. That was a little bit trickier. Difficulty is ramping up. Oh, oh goodness. What is this one? This one looks sort of complicated, right? We've got some, we've got a power cable, which we can take down here we've got bricks. Can I move those bricks? I can. Just launch them out. We've got that and oscilloscope. All right, and then we've got, oh, like a weird thing that we can do a bit of rotatey, a tatey with down there. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll explore what else we've got. We've got down the side, like, that looks cool. That looks, well, it looks dangerous. We've also got a, a gem there. Thank you. On the other side, we've got similar sort of thing. We also got a key. We've got a scroll that definitely says subscribe to RCE and nothing else. Cheers, editor. Appreciate you getting my back there. I assume that's definitely what you wrote when I put that. Yeah, and then we'll flip that. So they're both out. They're ready to be electrified or something. And so zoom in. We can, can we pull that down? That looks like a switch. We can. Nothing happens. Now around the front down here, we've got, oh, is that where the key goes? That looks like where the key goes. So give that a spin. Padlock is off. Open these flaps and then the skilly slopey thing goes in there. I know words. The cable goes across those. And then do I do a little bit of a little bit of something here? No, I'm not I'm not sure what I do there. I'm guessing we got to power something on first. So what if I Well there you go. That's gonna do something, right? I'm like proper inserting myself into those two holes. Oh, oh look! I can, I can slide these. Oh, so do I just want to slide? Oh, look, underneath there's, there's power. Oh, okay, so underneath there's cables. Okay, so I think what I want to do, I want to put one in and then I want to move it to the other side. And then I can put that one in. No, that's going to be, is that going to be the right spot? I think that might be the wrong spot. So if I move those up and put that one there and then rotate that. Oh, no, balls, look. Look at the underneath. It's the wrong way round. So I was right the first time. So we move it back. 
we plonk both of these down there and put that one in. Fling it back that way, slide it to the top, and then that's one of them done. So I just got to repeat that for the other four. The joys of video editing. And then, oh, we've got we've got a cube. So we've taken the strange cube. And where do we shove that? Probably in there. That looks very cube-like. So that goes in. Now we've got some oscillation. Oscillation? Oscillate? I don't know. So we can rotate that in that direction. And that one does that direction. Interesting. So I'm guessing I just want to, like, line them up like that. Yes, that seems good. That means power. Oh, we have power. So now we can do that switch, which means power goes up to the top, which means that is spinning fast, which means it's all going a little bit mental. I'm scared. There's a lot of electricity flying about. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so electricity down there going to that. That just exploded. I'm not sure if it was meant to. And then the other side doing the same thing. That is going to blow a fuse. Boosh. There it goes. And then I'm guessing, do I just, do I just like pull that down? Right. So next up, we've got that. So we can move that out of the way to unlock that. We can do the same on that side. So plop that, the bar falls down. And then if I pull that down, that is a flap. The door is unlocked. There's the cat. And we're on to the next level. Right, so we've got a motel door on the top. I see, I see a suitcase. So we may as well open that. We've got a crowbar. Uh, what do we have on the back? Is that like a lift? Buttons for a lift or something? Uh, it looks like we've got more bags down here. So can we, we can open those. Nice. We found a magnifying glass. If we move the bell, there's a gem behind it. Nice. And then we've got like probably like safes or something so we've got to find a key for those oh i didn't even notice look down here we got like a little crime scene going on so someone got murdered it's got a hat and down in the gutter there's glass and i can see a knife down there as well so can i like magnifying glass that is that a clue no it doesn't look like it <laughs> <laughs> We've also got whatever this is. This is like a transformer. And ooh, look. Ooh, look. All right, okay, so I've got to try and get power to everything. So, oh, this is going to be quite a cool little puzzle, actually. So if I do that and that. And we've done it. Nice. So that's going to power up something down here. Ah, oh, the lift button. So you give that a boosh. And then that is... Ooh, where's, where's that going? Oh, it's a different floor. It's actually a lift. So on floor two, we have some stuff in here. So I'm guessing we can, we can unlock that by... Okay, so twist to about there, and then I can move that all the way across. Nice. And how do I how do I move this other one? Maybe we need to find something, or can I just crowbar it? No. Okay, we may need to find something to help us with that. Can I crowbar the door open? No, just <laughs> don't think so. Oh, look, behind the broom, there is a skull. Out the way, broom. Oh, the broom is a thing. Would Earth be such a terrible place if humans were to disappear? All right, cat. This is why I'm a dog person. They're always plotting, cats. They're always plotting. So yeah, if we go back down into here, I'm sure I can just shove the broom, like, down the top, right? No. Oh, come on, game. I could well move that with a broom. All right, what's going on in this picture? Oh, I can open it. We have a code. I don't know what the code is. We need to find a code somewhere. What is going on with that chair, actually? What is going on with that chair? Look at that. It's all, like, stitched. Can I magnifying glass that? Can I broom it? Can I crowbar it? There's something funky going on there. All right, let's go to the other floor. There's got to be something around it. Right, I did show Clue. It's telling me to go down there. I think it's telling me to sweep away the glass with the broom. Okay, that makes sense. Because now the glass is moved, I can get to the knife, I imagine. Or do I need to, do I need to like, yeah, there you go. I need to lift the grating up with a crowbar, then grab the knife. And then I imagine if we head back up to the other floor, then I reckon we can cut that open. Yep. Slice through that and then lift that up and we have a key we have a key with five on it so back down the lift go to safe number five shove the key in give it a twist and what do we have oh one of those a twisty thing which means we can go back up in the elevator shove it in there give it a twist up to about that point so we can slide that across and then oh dead people photos uh, so i can i can move these about actually is there anything underneath them so i've got the magnifying glass oh so look at the bottom of each photo you see there's like there's a code so we got to find the right photo i guess so if we head around here we can see there's the dead bloke he's waving with his left hand his right hand doesn't exist and his right leg is straight his left knee is bent okay i think it i think it's that bottom one okay so if we grab the magnifying glass if we move that to the bottom one we've got this code 35 60 75 35 i've forgotten what it was already was it 60 and then 75 yes <laughs> 
Oh, memory. Good work, memory. Uh, now we have another key. So is that the key for the door? I think it might be. Yes. Give it a turn. Decent. We completed the motel. Right, and if you want another video on this, let me know in the comments. We've got halfway through chapter two. There's also a chapter three as well. So we're pretty much halfway through the game. Uh, we did we did miss some gems on those last two levels. But yeah, really enjoying this game. If you are as well, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll do an episode two. As always, give the video a boost if you do want to see more. It lets me know if you like it or not. But otherwise, I'll say peace, love, and doors. Bye, guys.